Hey everybody, welcome to the Zabe cast. Zabe here, Scott Lynn, Steve Solomon, Goldie's on assignment. So, wow, how about that volcano in Iceland? <laughs> Talk about a giant zit popping on the globe's yeah. face Ew. that has really messed up the prom date for Europe. Ugh. Who knows? Who knew they still speak Viking in uh, Europe? Or in Iceland. All those, every name of Iceland is unpronounceable. Go ahead, name the volcano. Say the name of the volcano. Eikafajalula. Yeah, if, if you gave it to me on a piece of paper, I still wouldn't be able to read yeah, it. Yeah, I've read it. It right. starts it's like it, it was, E-Y-E-A-K-A-J-A-J-O-F-O-L-L. Yeah. Eikafajalula. Like Seth, uh, was it Seth Myers that does Weekend Update on SNL? Is yeah. that his name? He uh, he said, all right, uh, you know, and he did the top story of the week, blah, 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 and he said, Again, apologies for not reading this right, but Iceland's volcano erupted this week. <laughs> it was very funny. It's like uh, Akhmadinejad. Uh, <laughs> Much whoa. harder. It's harder, though. It took me years to get that down. So this volcano, I mean, it's nuts because it has just crippled air travel in Europe. And, Luckily, and- uh, jet stream travels west to east or else the shit would be on us. If, uh, like, exactly <laughs> lucky that that's the case. Yeah. It will dissipate before eventually coming around the globe, won't it? Like a bad fart, yes. Okay. Hopefully. But, Good. but Good. remnants may like linger. Scott's like Scott's fart, some of your... don't reach my, my desk. I don't even know what you're office. talking about. This is not conversation. Topic, now, now it's not all bad news regarding the volcano. Yes. That, whose name we can't pronounce yeah, the in Iceland. Did you know that because of the volcano, the negative carbon footprint of all those air flights grounded does us good if you believe that flying airplanes does us bad although which i don't doesn't the actual volcanic ash have be bad for our environment no this is if you believe al gore's nonsense and i don't then this will cause global cooling on two fronts ready one negative carbon footprint of all those planes that didn't fly for this period of time, even though, yes, eventually people are going to have to get back to where they are. Right. Well, they're not going to double travel the flights. So. Yeah, a lot of travel was just canceled, mm-hmm. not postponed or delayed. Right. So so that's uh, a, a negative carbon footprint, cooling. I don't think two cooling. weeks of not flying in Europe is going to save this Come on, Sally. You sent me an email well, saying you don't get gas, and then we'll drop the price of gas. Yeah, you I go, believed you, you when go you go ride your bike email. all day, yeah, in yeah. Viro Boy. A- and... And not only that, but the big plume of ash acts as a big reflector shield to sunlight. I've been spraying cans of Lysol in the air just to <laughs> counter the footprint that's being saved. So, so in other words, with all that sun getting reflected off that ash cloud, mm-hmm. cooling. So I'm wondering, how many Priuses will we have to forcibly take off the road <laughs> and feed into a grinder and replace with Buick LeSabres, oh, God. circa 1988, getting 12 miles to the gallon. Speaking of Toyota. To once again, because I want our earth in balance, yes, and we're going to cool the heck out of this sucker. Hey, both my parents drive a Buick LeSabre. Thank you very much. That's right. Oh, really? 78 Chrysler LeBaron. My 98 and a 2000. Tooling around. <laughs> Speaking Bad of Toyota, times. as we go off topic, as we yeah, always want ahead. to do, I saw this breaking on the wire late last week, yeah. and then didn't really see a follow-up on the news. Sienna minivans were recalled. I think 60,000 of them. Do you have one? I do have a Sienna, as a matter of fact. They weren't recalled for any safety issues, but because of a rusty uh, gate around the spare tire or something that like sounds that. dirty. Well, wasn't yeah, the, like, the old rusty gate by the <laughs> spare tire? Yeah. Oh, oh, Lexus I I was recalled it. last week, uh, oh, no. which is made by well, Toyota, look, too. Toyota's having it. It's a whole separate Zabecast, but they're going to have to crawl up their own tailpipe with a microscope mm-hmm. to make sure they're triply checking every little thing that can go wrong because they're getting hammered. That said, I'd buy a Toyota tomorrow. Are you happy with your Sienna minivan? Incredibly happy. Yeah, I still make don't understand how it. this happens. How does a 96 Camry be perfect? But once they make the 97 Camry, my God, they've f***ed everything up. Change in parts, change in manufacturing But it techniques. happens constantly with so many cars that have to be Here's how it fitted with something. Right. Here's how it happens. It's like this microphone, the Shure M7. Mm. I don't think the SM8 has mm. catastrophic failures in but it. You're not riding the Shure SM8 into work. No, you're not. <laughs> That's the big difference. Hey, before we go, can you give me RustyGate.com? Because <laughs> I think that might be for me. Is that the website? Thanks, Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next time.